TFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman, the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour, coming up after this TFNN update, noontime. I'm also the, host, the author of the opening call daily newsletter. Let's look at the Dow. Dow's down 63 at 25,813. Remember yesterday, in fact, for a few days now, I've been talking about this black line right on the left side chart. You can see it's called the 14-period um, exponential moving average on the daily chart. And at 25,884, it's been the repellent for four out of the past, no, five, yeah, four out of the past five sessions. And the Dow just cannot get above it. If it does, then 25,957 is the level to break above that. So it's a leg B. And that'll be positive because that'll start the MACD turning up nicely. At this point, it's struggling. Stochastic's only at 39%. The weekly chart went right down to support. I'm looking at this very closely because there again, the 14 period moving average, the black line right here in the weekly chart has been resistance. S&P is right at this particular point, also down, it's down six points at 28.58. It hasn't even got to that uh, level of 28.68, the 14 period moving average resistance. And the MACD is trying to flatten out, but it isn't uh, successful yet. It needs to get to about the 28.84 level to say, hey, now I've got some strength. That's a lot of points up. At this particular point, the support at 28.48 is really important on a short-term basis. The QQQs has been impacted by the SMHs, down 51 cents at 181.38. The same is already a big part of this, and it's really struggling. And it's um, down 50 cents is not a big deal, but it's it's within this pattern. It's like an H pattern, an arch formation. If it breaks under 180 in the next few days, that's negative. It needs to get to 180.75 for to show some strength. The IWM was a little stronger yesterday, now it's a little weaker. It's down 1.10, 152.72, also stuck in a range. But what's really interesting here is that gold is trading up two, two and a half points. It's in the lower end of the range. It's trying to establish because that weekly chart, remember we spoke about this on the, if this Friday at the close, it closes underneath this uh, weekly dash trend line support. That's gonna be a problem. And the MACD is not very good. Stochastic is at 16%, also very weak. And if you look at the dollar, the dollar hasn't moved up very much, but it has been moving up. Look at the green candles. And it's trading up at three cents right, or three ticks right now at 98.09. I'll talk more about this in the next uh, in the next few months when I come back for my Tiger Technicians Hour. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Uh, Basil Chapman signing off, 22nd of May.